Have you ever wondered why your dog digs and most importantly how to stop them? Well in today's video I'm going to go over the top five reasons a dog digs and how to stop it. So stay tuned. Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage He's a goofy old Dexter the dog He's a bad, bad Dexter the dog The baddest pup that there ever was Seat stealing all day long Howling like a junkyard dog So as with all dog training and behavior, remember, dogs are dogs. They're going to do things that are natural to their behavior and things that they enjoy. So in this video, when we're talking about how to stop your dog from digging in the yard, as with most behavior, it's going to take patience. So if you really want to stop this behavior, you're going to have to do your part as well. So one of the common reasons a dog might dig in his yard is strictly out of boredom or that it's fun because they're digging things up. They're having a good time. Think about kids in a sandbox. They're digging and playing and making sand castles and having a good time. The same thing with your dog. It's a fun behavior to do. So the first thing is to think about your dog's environment. If you have a fenced in yard, I urge you to be out there with your dog, interacting with your dog, watching your dog. There are a lot of things that can go wrong in a blink of an eye if your dog's in his fenced-in yard by himself, not being supervised. I do have more information on keeping your dog safe in the yard, so check out the link below and it'll take you to that information. So when you're outside with your dog, hanging out with them, instead of allowing them to find fun things to do and dig by themselves, Make their yard entertaining. Have appropriate dog activities and encourage your dog to do those activities instead of finding his own, i.e. digging in the yard. One of the things that you can do is have food toys. So toys that usually they're rubber in design and you can stick food in them. So you can work on some of his hunting and gathering instinct and put some of his daily food calories in those toys and place them in the yard. So that that he has something to do. If you're really zealous, dogs do like to dig. So get him his own sandbox. They like that real loose dirt that's underneath their paws. So you can get that sandbox. You can take those to filled toys. You can kind of tuck it halfway into the sand. Go over to the sandbox with your dog. Show him it and go, hey, dig, 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 dig. Let's get this. Dig, 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 dig. So that you're encouraging him where to dig and what's more appropriate behavior for him. Play with your dog in the yard. Your yard shouldn't be a place for your dog just to walk around by himself and try to find his own entertainment because most of the time he's going to get into trouble digging, barking at the neighbor's dog, chasing squirrels. Again, we need to supervise our dogs and teach them and interact with them. They're children. They may be five years old, six years old, nine years old in doggy life, but they're still two-year-olds in human life. We need to interact with them. We need to guide them. After all, we do have these dogs for a reason. There are companions, so companion with them. You can set up a fun little mini agility course for your dog. Keep it safe, keep it low. Don't keep it out there unsupervised so that your dog can go over it, fall off of it. Instead, interact with him. Grab a few obstacles. You can go online. Maybe I'll throw some links in below for some ideas, but make up your own. You can just have things around the yard that he can step on, walk over, go through, kids tunnels, anything like that. Take a broomstick, put it on a book, lure him over it, teach him how to walk over that. Engage with him. Remember, it's about you and your dog in the yard because if you do these things, he's going to be less likely to think about digging. And the best way to teach your dog not to dig in his yard is to prevent it in the first place. So it's a behavior he never even develops. Proactive puppy care, proactive dog training, that's the key to success. Because if you work with them the first year or two of their lives, you're going to have 15 years behind that that you don't even need to worry about it because your dog's never learned to dig in the yard. He's learned about all these other fun doggy approved activities. So number two, hunting. 
I know, you might have a lap dog or a companion dog, but believe me, there's a little hunting DNA in those genes. So when they're digging, sometimes they're hunting. So when they're rooting around in the ground, digging up dirt, they could be hunting. They might be trying to find moles or voles or bugs, who knows what. But it's fun and they're gonna find that critter. And that hunting digging behavior doesn't have to be just outside. Dexter, my little monkey, he knows when there's critters underneath our house. He will dig at the vents and go crazy for them. So how do we fix that behavior, especially if it's in the house? First, we try to distract Dexter. So sometimes that's a little bit of management. So if he got really focused in one vent, we needed to keep him out of that room. Two, we want to discourage the critter. So what I did is I took a cotton ball and I put a little bit of peppermint essential oil on the cotton ball and then I threw it in the vent. Three, we removed the critter. So we did have to have critter control come out and humanely remove him and put him in a new location. The third reason a dog might be digging in your yard is to stay cool. Those hot summer days, when they're digging in the dirt, it's cooler the lower you go. So some of those dogs are digging holes just to lay in it to cool down. So how do we stop that? One, we can help our dogs stay cool outside. Maybe little doggy pools, some cooling jackets, lots of fresh cold water. Two, limit the outside activities. Yep, when it's hot outside, Dexter's going pee, poo, and then he's back inside the house. He does not appreciate the hot humidity out there. It can be very dangerous. So limit those activities when it's too hot. Number four, stress and anxiety. Now this one was my golden retriever, Theo. So Theo had extreme thunder phobia and noise phobia. And these dogs tend to want to escape. So something happens and they want out. We used to say Theo was digging to China. So Theo would do it inside the house. So when the storms would roll around, he'd just start rooting and digging wherever he was. He'd dig doorways, he'd dig the carpet, he'd dig the bed. It was just that panic mode. What's going on in their head? They want out. They want away from that noise. They want away from whatever it is that's scaring them. To fix that, that's not a quick fix. You're gonna to need to dive really deep into your dog's behavior and work with a professional who specializes in that anxiety so that you can really address that. Theo wouldn't even go outside during a thunderstorm, not that I ever asked. So if your dog's anxious of noise, the fireworks, those sorts of things, don't take them outside in your fenced in yard. If they need to go outside, leash them. There are way too many dogs that during this time, they'll dig out or jump out. So we wanna make sure that safety comes first for these guys. Number five, digging in the dog bed. You've seen it, I'm sure. You're getting ready to go to bed and your dog's root, 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 root. Move, 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 move. I need to move it this way and you move that way. That's a natural behavior. It's a behavior that's come down from generations to generations. One of the theories is their wild canine ancestors would root around in the grass, those tall grass blades, root around so they can kind of make their little nest in their little bed and get comfortable. So how do you stop that behavior? You don't. Why worry about it? If he's rooting around in his bed trying to get comfortable, who cares? Let him do it. If on the other hand, it seems like he's a little stressed about it or a little obsessed about it, you can calmly redirect them, try to give them something else to focus on. Maybe a filled treat toy or a nice new chew bone. But you don't wanna yell at your dog or reprimand your dog or get stressed about it because that's only gonna get them more anxious. And when dogs are more anxious, they tend to do repetitive behaviors. So you yelling at them or getting stressed about it or saying, oh, come on, stop it, stop it, is actually going to probably make your dog do it even more. He may even sneak off and try to do it somewhere where you can't see so that he can still do that act. So remember, don't reprimand him. Don't get upset about it. Same with the dogs that are anxious. Don't yell at them. That's only going to cause more anxiety. And if your dog's anything like Dexter, he's going to root around in the bed, get it all nice and cozy, and then go sleep somewhere else. Crazy, right? Dogs are dogs. Who knows sometimes why they do the things they do, but that's why we love them. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Remember, if you have a dog who's digging at home, supervision and redirection is key. You can't just say, eh. 
If you want to change the behavior, you have to put in the work. Unfortunately, with dog training and behavior, there's usually no quick fixes, so a little work goes a long way. Remember, we're going to have them for 15 or more years, so a little work now, lots of fun in the end. So don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you can be notified of upcoming videos. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, do check out my Patreon page. The link is below. And until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life, and we'll see you in the next video.